guess who's back in the house it's samantha here with samantha race the recipe and i'd like to welcome all of my newbies and my old and faithfuls i appreciate everyone who has clicked on this video for doing so and if you have not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and hit that button now be sure to share and like the video as well and if you're not sure what the heck you stumbled across at this channel we go through and any recipe i've ever seen um, whether it be on an app whether it be on a food network channel whatever TikTok, because they cook and cooking over there okay child if it's anywhere if it look good to me i'm not gonna just be looking at these recipes oh no no i'm gonna be making them and if it's worth it i'll let you know if it's trash i will let you know so without further ado we're about to make some chocolate covered nougats by uh food network's molly yay now i don't know if you guys have seen the uh popcorn salad video but if you haven't i absolutely rated it and you'll be surprised that thing was good um, I'll leave a, um, a link like in the card somewhere in here. You'll find it. It's in the cards, in descriptions, wherever you'll find it. But because I enjoyed that salad so much, I was like, well, what else she got going on in the little farmhouse house? And chocolate covered nou nougat is something that I found. And I really love nougat. And I have learned how to like pistachios. Um, so we're going to just get right into it, right? So the first thing we did was take equal parts of... Um, cornstarch and powdered sugar and I'm gonna just toss it in here like this we have an 8x8 pan can y'all see me hold tight I'm not quite a Food Network star just yet so <laughs> she a little out of order so what I'm gonna do is just give this a uh, pan a little dusting of that equal part mixture because nougat is sticky child and we need to be able to get her on up out of here when the time comes so now that's done easy enough right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to separate some so eggs. what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate some egg whites and then we're going to make the nougat filling but it all kind of comes together pretty quickly when i judging by the um video that i watched so we will save the egg yolks for something else for this, all we need is the white. And we're gonna just sit this here for the time being. And we're going to make the nougat mixture. Okay, so for the nougat, we're going to put sugar into our saucepan. The quantities will all be below. And let me do the, the water first. And some water. and then the honey. And then we're gonna bring all of this, I'm so weird with that, up to the boil uh, until it gets to 305 degrees. Um, Molly used a candy thermometer and I, can, I don't know where my candy thermometer is, y'all. So, I'm using this guy and I feel like this is better for me anyway it's an electric um, thermometer and once it's at 305 degrees then we will pour this mixture into our um, beaten eggs right so that's what's gonna happen not beaten but like our um, egg whites that's what it is okay so now we're pouring slowly the syrup into the egg white mixture once everything is all in there then you're going to turn it back up to high for about three to five minutes so i just tossed in the pistachios i didn't do hazelnuts because if you don't know by now i hate nuts but i did learn to like pistachios so that's what i put in here this recipe i can tell you right now is giving me the blues you see all of my nougat is stuck right here um so she sprayed her hands with oil to keep it from sticking so i'm doing that but i can tell y'all right dog on now this joker here has 
a one for the ease of recipe. It is not easy for me. Okay. It is all stuck to my little thing. So as much as I love nougat, it's going to be coming from the stove. And then my little fingers is about to burn right off. Oh my God. This a mess, honey. A whole mess. Y'all, oh my God. Death, okay. I finally got it into the little uh, mold. I sprinkled it with some more of the, <laughs> with some more of the powdered sugar slash cornstarch mix. And now it has to set for a few hours. It is late, so it will set overnight. And then we will cut it up and, um, Sorry, I wasn't looking at y'all. Then we'll cut it up and dip it in chocolate. <sighs> Guys, oh my God. make but so far they're turning out really cute and so i mean i guess it's a labor of love because it's turning out i hope it tastes good oh.